In the previous movie, we covered the basic capabilities of the plankton newtone. Well, what can we do with it? We can either use it as a normal VCA, enveloping it to create our final output volume, or we can use it as a saturation and give it a more constant CV to decide how much saturation that we want. I'm going to pull the sine wave out of my disting right now, and instead send a sawtooth of it over to my Mother 32's external audio so I can go ahead and mix the inputs. I'll start with just the Moog's VCO initially, but this gives us the ability to mix two VCOs in for more complex sounds. Now I'll take the output of the Mother 32 with its VCA turned on, that's basically bypassing the VCA, and instead feed that into the input of my new tone. Then I'll take a CV from a second envelope generator here and run that over to the CV input for that particular triode. I've got the attenuator turned all the way off right now, so playing notes pretty much doesn't do much. But as I start to bring up my attenuator, you hear my notes. I'll go ahead and pull up the cut up here for now. Bring up the sustain level of the VCA. Try a little bit less CV. Or more CV to overdrive it. Indeed, if we drone that note, you'll see this attenuator now becomes the equivalent of the triode, deciding how hard we're going to drive this into saturation based on our maximum envelope level. So right around there, there's no distortion. We're going to use it as a normal VCA. Let's go ahead and get some cutoff involved here. Two VCOs. Pretty much normal VCA territory. But if you go back into drone mode, open up the filter for now, and increase the attenuator, we'll start overdriving at the very top of our envelopes, as well as when our oscillators are in phase. You can hear it phase in and out. We can pick how much overdrive we want. I'm going to take my sustain back down to a more sane level. And for fun, do really slow attack and decay here so you can hear as we swell, get into saturation, then fade back out again. And again, even the phasing of the oscillators is causing this to go in and out of saturation. Go back down to one VCO, so you can hear clearly. We come back down to sustain level that's not saturating. Now, you might like that sound, or you might not like it there is a bit of a fizz being animated in and out as we go in and out of that saturation zone. If you'd prefer to have a constant amount of distortion instead of it animating with your envelope, what you want to do is either put a normal VCA after new tone or take one of its channels and back it off to where it doesn't distort. I'll go to full sustain here out here until I'm no longer in saturation. There we go. Put sustain back down to a more sane level. And instead, take my audio input, route it to the input of the other VCA in the new tone, input one in this case. I'll use that as a saturation circuit, and I'll say send the output of VCA1 to the input of VCA2, where now it's going to get enveloped normally and fed back out of the module again. So, nothing until we start to bring up the bias on triode one. This is our saturation circuit. Now we have much more constant saturation levels of a fizz. And the second VCA is acting as a normal envelope VCA with no additional distortion. So, instead of playing these long sustained notes, 
let's go to something more typical, like a fast arpeggio. And start playing around with overdrive amounts. Make it a little bit pluckier. So there's our clean sound, low setting on the triode, very little saturation. You see that the tube is on pretty bright, which means it's not passing a lot of signal right now. And now I'll take my first stage, which I'm using saturation, and increase the saturation amount. You see how much darker this display is. That indicates more signals going through it. And we're using the second stage. It's just a very fast plucked VCA with no distortion being added. I could add more distortion by increasing its attenuator. Back off to being clean and just decide how much distortion I want in my triode. Or even better, I could put that on a performance control, couldn't I? Let's go ahead and take the CV out from my mod wheel and run that to the triode CV. Turn that down, put my mod wheel up all the way, decide how much maximum distortion I want, and set my attenuator for that. Yeah, maybe around there. Sets so my saturation amount. I turn my mod wheel all the way down, cuts off, I can set my initial bias level here, see how quiet I want to get. Okay, there's my clean sound. There's my saturated sound. Bring in my second offset. Play around a little bit with feedback. Get a more distorted sound. If you crank feedback all the way, they can start to break down. And what's particularly interesting is when you have feedback turned up, the VC will actually self-oscillate. Turn off my notes. Turn off my output two. Turn off my Moog. And that is the sound of just channel one of this VCA feeding back on itself. Let's go ahead and turn down the feedback amount. Feedback amount changes the pitch of the feedback. So it gets really high. Becomes a noisy wind when the feedback is just starting to tickle it into self-oscillation. I can still play normally. Fade off that noise. It'll go ahead and play properly when I have sound coming through it, but then as the note decays away, it'll go into its self oscillation again. So you're gonna have a lot of fun really driving this thing into crazy spaces. Turn it back down to normal. Go ahead and drone the Moog through there. Turn the bias off on VCA2. Just play it normally now. I have no sustain here, let's turn it up a little bit. Clean. Dirty. So that's the Plankton Newtone VCA. I personally find it pretty darn well behaved and easy to control. This is something I'm going to keep as a regular component of my personal modular system. Some people like the two VCAs that always destroy the sound all the time. You basically get to choose, do you destroy your sound a little bit or do you destroy your sound a lot? With Newtone, I can go from clean to as much overdrive as I want and even bring up feedback loops to make it go really crazy. So I'm very happy with this module. I'm glad I got it.